let's look at a very tricky problem in which we have to apply certain operations to make a string empty so in this problem we are given a string s and we have to do a certain operation until the string becomes empty let's look at what we have to do in each operation in every operation it is given that for every character from a to z we have to remove its first occurrence for example when we apply the operation first time this is the first occurrence of a so we'll delete it this is the first occurrence of b so we'll delete it and this is the first occurrence of c so we'll delete it and after our first operation this will be the string that will be remaining and when we apply the same operation again this will be the first occurrence of a so we'll delete it and this will be the first occurrence of b so we'll delete it and this will be the first occurrence of c so we'll delete it and when we apply our operation for the third time there is only one occurrence of b and a remaining so we'll delete both of them and we'll have an empty string it is given in this question that we have to return the value of the string just before applying the last operation when our string becomes empty so in this case the value of the string before becoming empty was ba so we'll have to return ba in our second example when we apply the operation the first time this will be the first occurrence of a b c and d so we'll delete them and the string will now become empty so the last value of the string just before becoming empty was a b c d hence the answer will be a b c d let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this let's try to figure out some more properties of this operation in this example we see that we have five a's let's try to figure out after how many operations this string will become empty when we first apply the operation this will be the first occurrence so this will be removed so now this will be the remaining string and now when we apply the operation the second time this will be removed so now this will be the string similarly when we apply the operation the third time the third a will be removed and when we apply the operation the fourth time the fourth a will be removed and finally when we apply the operation the fifth time this string will now become empty so probably you can notice that since we had five a's it took five operations to remove this character completely into an empty string hence to completely remove this character the number of times we have to apply this operation will be the count of this character now let's take the example when we have multiple characters we see that we have five a's and four b's so when we apply the operation four times we know that four b's will be eliminated and four a's will be eliminated and since we will have one a remaining we can figure out that b could never have been part of the last answer so any character that was deleted before we came over here can never be our answer because we are looking at the last value just before it becomes non empty and since this string is non empty and everything that was deleted before it can never be part of the answer since the count of a is 5 we know that a will be removed completely after five operations and over here the count is 4 so it will be removed completely after four operations so after four operations b will be completely eliminated but we'll still have some a is remaining because the count of a is greater than 4 so b can never be part of our answer please note that this will still be true irrespective of the positions of the characters hence we can go through the array and count the frequency of each character and whichever characters have the maximum frequency they can only be part of the final answer in this case both c and a have a frequency of 5 so they will only survive until the final operation before the string becomes empty and since b and z have a frequency less than that they will be completely eliminated and finally let's try to figure out what will be the arrangement of the string just before it becomes empty we have already ignored b and z from the string because they can never be part of the final string and now when we apply our operation for the first time the first occurrence of c and a will be deleted and now when we apply it for the second time this c and the second occurrence of a will be deleted and for the third time the third c and the third a will be deleted similarly for the fourth time the fourth a and fourth c will be deleted and now we cannot delete it for the fifth time because this will result in an empty string so a and c will be the final arrangement just before becoming empty probably you have already observed that when we apply the operation the first four times all of the c's 
except the last one and similarly all of the a's except the last a will remain hence even if we have multiple characters with the largest frequency when we apply the operations only the last occurrence will remain so this will be a resulted string hence to solve this we can start from the reverse order and check for each character if it has the largest frequency in that case we can add it to a result only once similarly when we arrive at c we see that it has not been added yet and it has the largest frequency so we'll add it to our answer and when we arrive at b again we see that it has already been added so we can just check in the string that whether it has been added or not and since the resultant string can only have 26 different characters so its length can never be more than it hence we can consider this find operation to be a constant time similarly we'll ignore these b's and c's because they have already been added and when we arrive at a we'll again add this to our answer and once we have gone through the string completely we can reverse this string and then that will be our result the time complexity of this solution would be o of n because we have to traverse the array to prepare the hash map and the space complexity would be constant because the hash map can only have 26 characters and even our resulted string can only have 26 characters let's implement our solution the first thing that we'll do is count the frequency of each character in our string and since we only have to consider the characters which have the maximum frequency we are going to find the maximum frequency from all the frequencies that we have and now let's define a variable to store our resultant string in reverse order and now let's go through our string in reverse order we'll check for each character if it has the maximum frequency and it has not been yet added to our result in that case we'll add it to our resultant string and once we have added all the characters to our resultant string in reverse order our final answer will be the reverse of this string we are now done with our solution if you like this video please show some love by liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more such content thank you for watching and see you soon